folks, what are the most difficult parries in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike? A lot of you might say it's Chun-Li Super Art 2 from the famous Evo Moment 37. I totally failed it there, but I don't think that that is the hardest. I think it might actually get even harder than that. So I've done a combination of my own research as well as consulting with some Third Strike players and trying to come to the conclusion of what are the top 10 most difficult supers to parry in this game. So for each one of these, we'll talk about it. I'll explain what makes it so difficult to parry if you guys haven't played the game and you don't know how some of this stuff works. And then I'm gonna try it out myself for each of these. As you can tell, I'm not that good at parrying. I'm getting completely destroyed by this Chun one, but I'm gonna try, see how long it takes me to get each of these parries. So wish me luck guys, and I hope you enjoy the list. All right, so number 10 on the list is gonna be Elena Super Art 2. This is the Brave Dance. You know, this one, it's pretty doable. I think for most normal people, you should be able to pull this one off because you do have time to react after the super flash to get that first hit but the difficulty in this one comes from the timing there's going to be like a big gap between each hit because of the parry screen freeze so that can make it a little bit tough and you guys might struggle a little bit but let's see how long is this gonna take me start the timer all right let's try it out first attempt here okay 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 i got i got decently far let's see how long it takes me to get the whole thing though Nice, we got there under a minute. So that one's pretty doable. I think that you guys at home can probably pull that one off. So let's keep moving through the list. All right, next up at number nine is gonna be Dudley's Super Art 1, the Rocket Uppercut. This is another one where it's not that impossible to do. There is some decently tricky timing in the middle, but what makes this one extra difficult compared to the last one is you actually cannot react after the screen freeze. So when the screen freezes, we call that the super flash when he's doing the super, it's already too late. Your parry is not gonna register, so you have to actually be parrying before the screen freezes, so it's gonna require some prediction and some very nice timing, but let's see how long it takes me to get this one. Start the timer. Nice, got him. That was like third try. I'll take it. Again, that one's not so bad, you just have to be predicting and not just reacting if you want to get that first parry the first one is the hardest one for sure all right next up at number eight is going to be necro super art one the electric storm and uh this one is mostly just hard because necro is going to be mashing the buttons to get extra hits there are going to be a lot of hits here that you have to parry this is another one where the startup is basically instantaneous after the super freeze so if you want to get that parry you are going to have to be doing it before the super freeze, if you want to have any kind of reasonable timing. So that makes it hard as well, plus the super draws you in, so you know you're gonna have to deal with every single hit. Unlike Dudley, you know, where he's going into the air and parts of the super can be avoided. So let's try this one out. Timer starts now and let's see if I can do it here. Um, immediate fail, immediate fail. Try again. We got it? We got it? That one only took a few tries as well, but I've heard to make this extra difficult, you can try parrying it in the air. Like if he tries to do it as an anti-air. Oh, I got it from the air. I got it from the air. Okay. <laughs> took about three minutes. It's way harder from the air just because getting the timing of that first hit is so tricky. All right, next up, we're gonna have to deal with Ibuki Super Art 1. We're getting really tricky now, especially when you factor in she can throw a kunai before she does the super, which is gonna make timing that first hit even more difficult. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but let's try it, man. She's mashing for all the hits, so let's see if I stand any chance here. You can't even get the first hit, all right. I almost got it second try, but then we got hit by the very last hit. Run that back again. Let's go. We got them all right in two minutes. I'll take it. Okay, a Buki Super Art 1 with the extra kunai at the front. Really hard, but we managed to pull it off. Moving on. All right, next up, we're going to be doing the classic, of course. But to add a little bit of extra difficulty, we're including... 
an EX fireball that is gonna come in mid super and try to mess us up. So let's see if we'll be able to parry the super art 2 plus the fireball all in one go. Oh, the, not the fireball. Not the fireball. So I'm gonna have to figure out the timing of when to parry that fireball. Oh my gosh. I'm not very hopeful for this one, but we'll see. I I don't know how I did that, but we we got decently far on that one. Oh, and then my hopes were immediately dashed by the fireball on the next try. Run it back. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I dropped the follow-up combo, but we got the full parry. Let's go. I, you know, I'll admit I did cheat a bit. I I used save states to ensure that I would always be at the same distance every time, you know? So I did I did cheat, you know? If I was standing like back here or up here, I don't know if the same timing is gonna work. Cause the fireball is gonna come at a different time. So I cheated a little bit, okay? But we still got it in under six minutes. I'll take that. All right, next up, we've got a very famously difficult to parry super, which is the Denjin Hadoken. So this move is unblockable. So a lot of times the only way to deal with this move is going to be to parry it. But the problem is that Ryu can vary how long he charges up the super and make it much harder to know the timing. So obviously I'm doing this against a recording, so it's going to be very predictable. He's going to do it the same way every time, but uh, hopefully you guys can understand. Oh my god, first try before I even hit the timer. Let me record it with different timing and see if I can make it a little harder. All right, let's try it like this. I left a bigger gap. I also got hit by the fireball, so that's certainly, certainly I'm disqualified there. But let me hit the start on the timer. That, that was sheer miracle luck right there. Oh my god. This was actually, I think, one of the hardest ones. I think I got really lucky getting the parry. And considering how much easier it is to do this against a recording than it is a real human, because he does the same thing every time. And this was still, like, really hard. So, man, Denjin is a terror, man. This super is so scary. But we managed to parry it. All right, next up, I'm going to be cheating a little bit here because we're going to be talking about some of the install supers in the game, meaning supers that power you up for a limited amount of time. It's not really a fair comparison because, you know, after Yun powers up, he can, like, do whatever moves he wants, you know. He, he can mix you up in all kinds of different ways and be hard to parry. So, uh, it's a little bit unfair, but I think I'm just going to record kind of like a normal thing that someone might do when they activate Ganagin and see if I can parry it. So, what I was thinking was something like this. Like that? I feel like that's pretty normal, right? Like a normal type of thing that they might do is elbow into activation into a button into an elbow. So let's just see if this is possible for me to parry. Almost, almost got clipped by the last hit there. The, the Ganagin body clone got me, hold on. Let's go, okay, under a minute. Under, I could have made that obviously much harder if we recorded Yun doing something really complicated. We could make it way harder, but just for like a basic parry, I think that's fine. Let's try Yang though. So I think Yang might be way harder because, you know, in his super, like everything starts to do multiple hits. So, all right, let's give this a try and see if this is possible at all. I, I feel like even that the first hit with the double low is going to be really hard, but let, let's give it a try. Oh, immediately clipped by the second low. Yeah, already this is looking like a problem. Oh, he's making progress? I was mashing so hard there, but I think we need a gap between each Rekka. So I think that's going to be the trick here. Let's go! I got them all under three minutes. <laughs> that one, I don't even know if that was one of the hardest ones, but it's definitely one of the weirdest ones. You are not used to parrying anything like that in this game. It's crazy. All right, and then the last one that I wanted to test here, the last install is going to be Oro Tengu Stones. I've never tried parrying these stones. I don't know how hard it's going to be, but let's give it a shot. Start the timer. What? 
Okay, so I parried the first hit and immediately got smoked by the stones. So we're gonna have to parry those a little faster, I think. Oh, we barely got clipped by one hit there. Try again, try again. Let's go. That was actually one of the hardest ones yet. Just the fact that there's a lot of randomness with like the spacing and how many rocks you get hit by. I think that's got to be one of the hardest supers to parry in the game just because it feels very random and inconsistent and you never quite know how many hits you're going to get. But we managed to get all three of the medium kicks at least, you know. There's way trickier stuff you could do, but just for a baseline, I'm happy with it. All right, next up we are going to try against Yurian. An unblockable Aegis setup. If you guys don't know how this works, you essentially have to block the Aegis in one direction and you have to block Urian in the other direction, so it is unblockable. But since his foot and the Aegis in this situation are hitting on the same frame, I think I might be able to parry both of them at the same time with a down input. So let's try that out and see if we can get the full parry on the Aegis. All right, let's see. So actually the foot hits me a little bit after the first Aegis hit, so I'm gonna have to sneak in an extra forward parry in there, I think, and then switch back. Let's try it, I guess. That actually kind of worked! Hold up, let me see if I can just escape the rest of it or hit Urian or something. Uh, that actually kind of worked way better than I expected. Yo, I'm out, I'm out, okay. I'm not that good at Urian, so it's possible that there's like a way tighter setup you can do that's not that easy to parry. But hey, we got out of there. I can't complain really, I can't complain, we got out. All right, we're up to number two on the list now and we have now come to a super that is literally not parryable. It's Akuma's KKZ. So we're gonna attempt to parry the unparryable here. It's kind of hard to demonstrate, but yes, the first hit of this super is literally unparryable. It's just coded into the game. It cannot be parried, but it can be blocked. So here's the theory. We're going to attempt to block the first hit and then parry, red parry, all the follow-up hits. I don't actually know if this is going to be possible, but I'm going to try it. Already off to a bad start here. Did you guys see that? We were on to something. We were on to something. Oh my God, I forgot to start the timer. Okay, start the timer for real. And let's see if we can actually do this. I'm so close, but I'm getting clipped by something at the end there. Guys, I don't, I don't know how I'm getting so close, but I can't get the last three hits. It's crazy. I did it! A minute 18? That's chump change! Okay, I will say that if you're not very experienced with red parries, getting that first red parry is really, really hard. But once you practice a little bit, you should be able to get it. And then I feel like you just have to hope and pray to get all the hits. I have no idea what I did differently to parry all the later hits. I'm just mashing forward. But hey, we'll take it. That's the number two most difficult. There's one even harder that has kind of a similar idea. And that is going to be Gil. So, you know, Gil, technically not a real character. He's not playable on the arcade version, only on the home version and he's banned in every tournament, so he's not really a real character, but he does have this super, which similar to Akuma, the first hit is unparryable. So we're gonna try again to see if we can do the red parry tactic here. I don't have high hopes. I think this might be the one on the list that I'm not able to accomplish, but let's give it a try, all the rest, all the same that is, and see if we can do it. Starting the timer right now. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. That is tough. Oh, yikes. I don't know how to do this. Oh, my gosh, guys. I can't get the red parry. There's no time. There's no time. What the heck? This might not be possible. 
This might not be humanly possible. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna try this for a while, okay? You're gonna see a big skip here. I'm just gonna see if I can even get the red parry one time. All right, I think it's about time I gave up. I've been going at this for 10 minutes. Haven't even gotten one parry. So I have found footage on YouTube of people red parrying this. I think they might be using macros or like AI dummy to do it. I have been at this for a really long time and I have not had any kind of luck. So if you guys have ever seen anyone red parry this super, I would love to hear about it. Let me know down in the comments. And if you have a technique for doing it, let me know because I would like to actually do this in a video at some point, but for now, this is gonna have to be the one parry that completely evades me. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, it would really help me out if you could hit the like button. Just take a second to do it. If you made it all the way to the end, you are a real one and I really appreciate you. So with that, we're gonna end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.